guys learning with rich here in this video uh, we are going to continue our discussion about floors and slabs so last video we have learned how to make our slab edges uh, cantilever so this time around we are going to learn how to create slab edge okay so a slab edge can be found on the structure tab structure panel you see the floor there you click the drop down arrow and then you can see there the slab edge okay so it's slab edge so you add slab edges by selecting the horizontal edges of the floors uh, you can place the slab edges in our 2d views like the floor plan or the section views or even in the 3d view so what I'm gonna do is um, I'm going to select uh, this this floor here so I select this floor and then I'm going to isolate that element okay so isolate that element so that I am concentrating on that one okay and then after that I'm gonna open the level 2 level 2 and then let's select here the tile views okay so that we can see the level to the floor plan as well as the 3d view okay all right so let's create our slab edge so i'm going to select structure floor floor slab edge just select that one and then if you check the properties here you click the drop down arrow as you can see i only have here uh one slab edge okay i only have one slab edge here so if i select the edit type here so as you can see for the profile, I have here the 24 inches by 12 inches, which is the one that I have here. But currently, I only have one type here. So what I'm going to do is, let's say I want to create uh, 60 inches by 12 inches. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create that type. So here on my profile... I do not have here the slab edge thickened 60 inches by 12 inch. So that's why what I'm going to do is I'm going to create first that profile. And then after that, I'm going to create the type. Okay, so how to add a profile like slab edge thickened 60 inches by 12 feet. So how are we going to do that? So you just need to cancel this one first and then select modify to terminate the tool so you need to go to the project browser search for the families and then after that you look for the profiles okay so this one on the families look for the profiles expand that and then look for the slab edge thicken so just expand that so these are the different uh, slab edge thicken profiles so i'm going to double click this one the 24 inches by 12 inches so just double click that and then after that i'm going to duplicate this one because i want to create another type of that profile so like what i've said i want uh, 60 inches by 12 inches okay so it's like uh, five uh, five feet by one foot right so i select here okay now for the width so instead of two feet so I'm just going to make it 5 feet, okay? 5 feet and 1 feet. So that is 60 inches by 12 inches. So I'll just select here, okay. Okay, so as you can see, I now have that uh, slab edge thickened profile. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is I go to the floor again, slab edge, and then go to the properties, edit type. Okay, so we duplicate this one. Okay, so we duplicate that. So thickened, uh, let's make it 60 inches and then 12 inches. Okay, all right. And now for the profile, we just need to select the profile that we just created earlier, which is this one. Okay, there you go. And then for the material, so it's up to you. You can click that, click the ellipsis, uh, ellipsis button. Just click that one and then you can select the material that you want for this. Okay, so let's say I'm going to type concrete. Okay, so concrete like, for example, uh, concrete. So I'll just select concrete and then I select OK. So there you go. So that's the material. And then you can put as many 
uh, properties or identifications as you want here. So it's up to you and then just select your OK. All right, now the next thing that you're going to do is to select the edges, okay? So I'm just going to do it here on my 3D view. So I'm going to click the edges. So I click that. There you go. All right, you see that? So that's this love edge. So let's click this one here. There you go. So let's click here. There you go. Okay. So let's click the edges. You can do this in the 3D view. You can do this on section view. You can do this on the floor plan view. So just click that. And this one. And there you go. So as you can see, it's now updated here as well on our 2D view, right? And then you just need to select your modify, okay? So again, you can open up the section if you want to check out how it looks like. Okay, so select that one, right click, and then go to view. So just click that. And then where is the slab edge? There you go. So that's the slab edge that I just created. Right? Okay. So basically, that's how you add your slab edge to the project. Okay. So that's it. So you can open up the tile views again to see the section view. Maybe you can change that to shaded view. Okay. So there's your slab edge. So it highlights here as well. All right. Okay. There's your slab edge. Okay. All right. So again, that's it for this video. Hopefully you learned something from this video. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Okay. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.